Hey guys, Ben here with another quick Seed of Andromeda update. Uh, this week's update is pretty much just about uh, the new website stuff. If you go to the forums, you will notice that everything is completely different. Uh, we've done a complete redesign. Matthew has been working tirelessly and uh, Jesse's been helping him. And they've actually added a whole bunch of new plugins. Everything's really nice. The UI style is much better. I think you guys are really going to like it. Go ahead and uh, log in or create an account if you haven't and uh, check out all the new features. I think you guys will really be pleased with it. And of course, uh, make posts with suggestions or, or anything of the like on the forums. Uh, in other news, as far as development goes, we have been uh, adding some GPU-based uh, noise algorithms now. We have Simplex Noise, and it actually uh, works and it generates terrain now. So we can uh, generate most of the terrain on the GPU instead of the CPU. It should run quite a bit faster. Uh, the downside is the current biome system is a recursive sub-biome system, which allows us to have a lot of biomes, but it doesn't really lend itself well to a GPU-based noise approach. So what we're probably going to have to do is either figure out a way to make it GPU-based uh, with, uh, with a few hacks, possibly, or uh, limitations uh, on what y the users can actually do. Uh, but uh, another thing we can do is actually redesign the biome system completely. What this is going to do is probably break uh, the save files, uh, that exist currently, uh, but in the end it should give us a much nicer uh, biome system. So we'll see what happens. I'll keep experimenting with that. In other news, one of the things I want to do at the end of each video is do a community spotlight. So this week's spotlight is going to be a airport map designed by Sisla. He's still working on it. He is uh, one of the people in the community uh, who's been pretty active, and he's made this airport. And so I'm going to go ahead and fly through this while I explain what else is going on. Uh, we also have a new community manager. His name is Patrick, a.k.a. RPAC, if you are familiar with him in the IRC or the forums. He's going to be managing the Twitter and the NDDB and, and just doing all sorts of community-related things, so be sure to give him a warm welcome. Last Tuesday's stream went pretty well, so I actually want to make this a weekly thing. I had a whole lot of fun streaming for you guys and kind of explaining... Uh, some of the code and, and my general thought process as I, as I program. And we had a lot of fun playing around with shaders and things like that. So uh, what I'm probably going to do is do another stream this Thursday. And I have actually put a post on the forums detailing uh, the schedule and, and you know future plans for streams and things. So if you're ever curious about when the next stream is, just check out that post on the forums. I'll keep it updated uh, each week. I probably won't be able to stream every single week because I am a busy guy, but I will try to stream as much as I can uh, since uh, you guys seem to enjoy it for the most part, and I, I definitely had a lot of fun. Uh, so that seems to be it for this video. I can't think of anything else that I'm missing. Uh, stay tuned for more Seed of Andromeda updates. I'm currently working on 0.2.0, which should include the world editor and a bunch of other really cool features like new liquids and explosive methods like nukes and things like that. Uh, so stay tuned for that. It's probably going to be quite a while before that build is ready uh, since it is finals week and I have a lot of work to do. But I will spend as much time developing this as I can and I'll try to get these features out to you as fast as possible. Thanks guys.